Hello and welcome to the fifth lesson of my series Salesforce for Beginners. In this video, we are going to learn about permission sets, field level security and organization wide defaults. This is my second video on Salesforce security model. In case you want to view the previous video, the links are in the description. So let's get started. In our previous video, we have already gone through some of the components of the Salesforce security model, that is the profiles, the roles, and we've also created a user. In this video, we are going to work with permission sets, organization wide defaults, and also additionally, we will work on field level security. As we discussed in our previous lesson, that the profiles and permission sets together make the baseline object permissions. This determines what a user can see in the Salesforce org. On top of this, we have some additional settings like the OWD, the role hierarchy, sharing rules, and manual sharing. The OWD sets the default settings for record access, while role hierarchy, sharing rules, and manual sharing open up the access. Now let's talk about permission sets. By definition, a permission set is a collection of settings and permissions that give users access to various tools and functions. Permission sets are just like profiles, but it provides additional permissions and settings a user requires that the profile does not permit currently. So basically it is like an extension profile given to a user. The same settings that you can put in a permission set are present in the pro uh, profile as well, but permission sets extend user functionality without changing the actual profile, hence avoiding creation of multiple profiles. In case you want to learn how to create a profile, please visit my previous lesson, the link is in the description. Now let's understand a permission set using an example. Let's take the example of a school. We have two teachers. First is a physics professor. The other is a class teacher. Both the teachers are of the profile faculty. As per current settings in the profile, we can see that the student and the marks, these objects have read, write, edit and delete access permissions on the faculty profile, while fees has no permissions at all. Let's say that the fees object requires access by the class teacher, but the same access should not be provided to the physics professor. In case I make changes to the faculty profile, both physics professor and class teacher will now be able to see the fees object. But to avoid that, we create a permission set in which we give the access of read to fees object and provide this permission set to the class teacher. This way, we extend the functionality that we can provide in a profile by not changing the profile altogether and hence the physics professor will not have the access to fees but class teacher will have the access. So basically a user is nothing but a profile plus zero or more permission sets which defines what functionality or what access that a profile can get or a user can get. So now that we know what a permission set does Let's go and create a permission set in our Salesforce free instance. To do so, log into your free Salesforce developer account. I'm currently on my free developer account homepage. Now click on the top right corner, you'll see setup. On the left, quick find, type permission sets. Under manage users, you'll see permission sets. Click on that. Once on the permission sets page, you'll see a button called new, you need to click on this button. Now on the permission set create page, on the label type add on, this is the name of the permission set. You can choose a license, uh, but for now I'll just leave it to none, as I would like to add this permission set to multiple users at the later stage. Click on save. There, you've just created your first permission set. As you can see, the name of the permission set is add-on. If you scroll a bit, you'll be able to see that the page is pretty similar to how a profile page looks like, because it is pretty much an extension of a profile. So now that we have a permission set, this only completes the first step of adding a permission set on the system. The next step is actually assigning the permissions that need to be associated with this permission set. So I'm going to go to the object settings. You can see that currently for different objects, uh, the object permission says no access. So this is like a blank permission set currently. To add some access, we're going to click on the name of the object. 
So let me go and find the projects object. So here we have it, and I'm going to click on this projects object. Once on the object permission page, I'm going to click edit. Now, when I scroll down, I'll see the object permissions. I just want to give this permission set the read access. So any user that gets assigned this permission set will have the read access to the object projects. Before I save this, let's just for comparison see the profile faculty. Projects has no access. But if a faculty user wants the access to the projects, once we assign this permission set, they're going to have access to the projects object now. So I'm going to click on save. There, we've just added the read permission on the projects object to the permission set add-on. Now this completes a step two of a permission set. The step three is actually assigning this permission set to a user. To do so, I can click on the manage assignments button on the permission sets page. So let's click on the manage assignments. Now, I'm going to click on the add assignments button and that is going to give me a list of users that are available in the system. So I'm going to add this to the sample user and click on assign. Now when I click on done, the permission set is going to be added to the user sample. So when I go to this user, in the user page I'll see that the profile is faculty, but additionally I'll see that the permission set assignments has add-on, which will now provide access to this specific user to the object projects. So now let's move on to our next topic, which is field level security. Field level security determines which field a user with a specific profile can see. Now, for example, we have a physics professor with the faculty profile. We also have an object called student and it has two fields. The first is score and the second is fees. Now we have a scenario where we do not want to show the fees field to the physics professor, but the score field must be visible. We can handle this using field level security for the scores field as well as the field level security for the fees field, making the fees not visible to the physics professor profile, that is a faculty profile. So this visibility can be controlled by going to the profile as well as can be controlled by going to the objects page and adding the field level security individually to each and every field. So now that we know what field level security does, let's go and set our field level security in the Salesforce org. I'm currently on the home page of my Salesforce instance. Let's try to change the field level security of a field which is on the accounts object. To do so, click on the setup button. In the quick find menu, type accounts. Now you can click on the fields in this menu or there is another way of doing this. You can click on the accounts tab. In the right side, you'll see a toggle. When you click on that, you can click on view fields. This is going to take you to the same accounts object field record. Scroll down. You'll see all the available fields. In one of the custom fields, let's say SLA, I want to change the field level security or assign a different field level security. So when I clicked on the field, on the field page, you will see a button called set field level security. Click on set field level security. Now this is going to show you all the available profiles and the visibility on those profiles for this specific field. I can see that all the profiles have this field visible, but for the faculty, I want to change this to not visible. So I'm just going to uncheck this checkbox and click on save. So now for the faculty profile, this field will not be visible. So any user of the profile faculty will not be able to see or access this field. We can also change the field level security by going to the profile directly. To do so, again, I'm going to click on setup. I'm going to type profiles in the quick find. In profiles, I'm going to look for faculty. So I'll go to F. I have the faculty profile here, so I'm going to click on the faculty profile. 
in the profile i'm going to look for field level security so i'm just going to search by control f field and i have the field level security section where i'm going to look for the object so i'll go for account click on view here i have a list of fields that are available on the accounts object and i can also see the access that the profile has for those uh, for those respective fields so if i scroll down I can see that SLA has no access at all. So this is because we recently just removed the access. So let's just grant that access back. So to do that, we're going to click on the edit button. Now in the edit mode, I'm going to scroll down to SLA and I'm going to give the access. Checking that checkbox is going to give you the read access to SLA field. But to give the edit access, you have to give the edit checkbox as well. Now scroll up and click on save. So this is going to change the field level security to editable for SLA feed as you can see. So these are the two ways you can change the field level security for a specific field. Now the next topic is organization wide defaults. OWD defines the default access level of an object's records. What this means is we define the baseline record level security for an object's data. As you can see we restrict the access of an organization for a specific object with either public read write, public read only, or private settings. What it basically means that for a record which is not owned by a user, what is the baseline restrictions that is imposed on the record? That is, if I want to access a record of my colleague, then in case the setting is private, I will not be able to access that record. While public read only would give me read access to my colleague's access, and public read write will give me read write access on those records. While the baseline access will be set by OWD, the access can be opened up by role hierarchy, sharing rules, and manual sharing. We have already covered role hierarchy in my previous lecture. In case you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. Sharing rules and manual sharing will be part of my next lecture. So let's continue with OWDs. So the three configurations that you will see on that is private, which means that a user can only see their own records. Public read only, which means that a user will be able to see other users' records, but only in a read-only format. Public read write means that any user will be able to access and edit a record which is owned by a different user. Additionally, you will see an option called control by parent, which means that the settings are dependent on the parent object. So now that we have an idea about OWDs, let's go to our Salesforce instance and edit the OWDs in our system. So I'm currently on my home page. I'm going to click on the setup, which is on the top right corner. In the left side, quick find search box, I'm going to type sharing settings. So under security controls, I'm going to find sharing settings. Click on sharing settings. On the sharing setting page, you'll see a list of all objects which are present in the system. So if you want to change the organization-wide defaults of that object, you just have to click on the edit button. Now scroll down. Let's change the OWD for the account object. So I'm going to click on this drop down and change it to private. So it says that opportunity access must be private when account access is private. So we're going to change the opportunity and case as well. So you see that now the opportunity and case is private as well. Now click on save. There, you've just set the organization by default for the account object to private. This means that I will only be able to see my own records and not that of the other users. And that is it. You can also see the fourth option which I mentioned earlier, which is controlled by parent. So that's it for today's video. If you like the video, press on that like button, comment and share the video and subscribe to my channel Begin IT. Also like us on Facebook and visit our blog on WordPress. So this is Devjit Chaudhary and I'll see you next time.